Hey everyone, it's Steve from RPGFanatic.com. Today I'm going to share with you my memories of the Super Nintendo translation of Mortal Kombat 2. Man, where to begin? I remember this game was picking up a lot of hype. Rumors were swirling. Uh, the word on the street was that this game would be uncensored. The first Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo was was uh, censored was censored and the second one was going to be left intact um, and it was a big event in my gaming crew and the day that it came out was Mortal Friday September 9, 1994 I remember it vividly after school got out I ran home uh, to meet my brother who was in junior high at the time and I was still in elementary school I was in the sixth grade I was 11 years old I just turned 11 and um, my mom took us to Target and we bought the game. Man, I remember going to Target so much as a kid. Every Friday my mom would take me to Target and I remember I would go through not the front entrance, but I would go but I would go through the garden center, which was sort sort of toward the back of Target. And the cool thing about going through the back of the garden center was as you went through the back door entrance inside the garden center it would lead you directly to the toy section which was always in the back of my childhood target it was so cool because I remember I would always my mom would always go to the garden center and as she'll, she'll look as, as she would look at her plants and flowers and I would go to the entrance and I would go to the toy section I would look at the latest toys like Ninja, Ninja Turtles and Legos and then eventually I'll make my, my, my way to the magazine section and then to the electronics department where which had all the latest 16-bit titles of the era and I would check those out It was a blast playing Mortal Kombat 2 to death, pardon the pun, that magical weekend. But my brother and I soon discovered that Raiden's special move, the electrocution one, didn't work. The one, it's the one where you hold down high punch for 5 seconds and release. And if an opponent is nearby, Raiden will shock them. Well, it wouldn't work. We held it down for 5 seconds, 10, 15, even 20. It wouldn't work. So we decided to return the game to Target to make an exchange. And for whatever reason, my mom couldn't take us that Sunday night. So we had to wait until the next day, Monday night, for my dad to come home from work. He came home late that fateful night, around 9.45, and we rushed to Target. Well, as I was walking madly to the electronics department with Mortal Kombat 2, my defected copy in hand, I met a young cashier in the electronics department. He seemed like a really cool guy. He looked like early 20s, in college working at Target on a school night to make some money off on the side maybe pay off his student loans <clears throat> I told him about my um, dilemma and I remember as I was telling him about my situation with Mortal Kombat 2 over the PA system I could hear somebody saying attention Target customers we are now closing in five minutes and I remember him looking at me and he said hey you want to come backstage and test the game with me kid and I just couldn't believe it. So, next thing I know, my dad and I were following him through this, uh, we're going through the back staff room of Target, and he's leading the way. We come to this um, cozy staff room in the back. It has a vending machine, it's got couches set up, and it's got a television with a Super Nintendo conveniently set up. So, uh, he, we, he pops in Mortal Kombat 2, and we play a few rounds and um, after it was confirmed that Radiant's electrocution move didn't work he said okay just hang tight stay here with your dad I'll be right back so he leaves us he leaves my dad and I alone and it was probably a first in the history where two non-target employees were waiting backstage all by themselves 
um, while uh, while Mr. College Guy went to get a new copy for us. It was so cool because I remember thinking, is this even legal? You know, and it was also a school night. It was past 10. Um, Target was closed now, officially, and I was backstage with my dad. It felt so cool. I can't, you know, it's an obscure memory that I just remembered I was, as I was writing my review for Mortal Kombat 2. Um, something I haven't thought about in years, but uh, now that I th have thought about it again, it, it's so vivid to me, you know. It's amazing. It was a really, really fun memory of mine. About two minutes later, he comes back and he's not alone. In his hand, he has a brand new copy of Mortal Kombat 2 and he's got another Target employee with him. It was also another young college kid and um, they said, well, you know what, we better test this new copy to make sure it works so, you know, you don't have to go home and find out that it doesn't work. So he rips open the wrapper the um, and he pops in the new Mortal Kombat 2 version. And we play it with Raiden right away, and sure enough, the electrocution move did work on this copy. So, we were all happy. But, as I was getting ready to leave, the two Target uh, employees looked at me and said, Hey, you want to play a couple matches? And next thing I know, I am playing uh, a series of matches with these two young Target employees. And it wasn't long before more Target employees were following in backstage, because like I said, Target had already closed. And they gathered around, and it sort of became like a little tournament. I was playing with these young college kids who were target who were target employees, uh, just playing Mortal Kombat 2 and Super Nintendo. And I remember, even if I lost, they let me. They always let me play. It was so cool. And I remember when I beat my first um, uh, opponent, they were just heckling the guy. They were just laughing at him uh, unmercifully because this young 11-year-old kid beat him. You know, it was so cool. And looking back at it. You know, they, they reminded me of the kids from uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So I felt like I was playing Mortal Kombat 2 with the moan. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's just a fond uh, memory I have. One of many that I have with Mortal Kombat 2. And it's crazy to think that this game is now 20 years old. September 9, 1994, Mortal Friday. It's been over 20 years. And even still to this day, I still play Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo. I think it's one of the best arcade ports on the system and it's one of those games that I've never seen anyone badmouth ever. Even Genesis diehards admit and respect Mortal Kombat 2. It's one of those special games that just has hold up to the test of time 20 years later. So thank you Mortal Kombat 2 for the memories and I'll see you guys later. Excellent. Excellent.